Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Max Saparis. Tracking a couple showers moving into southwestern Wisconsin right now, but this is just a precursor of things to come. Not active or not bringing us severe weather quite yet. That's holding off till later this evening. Here's the highest risk for severe weather I've seen all year long, frankly, for the Badger State. And uh, we have the highest risk level four out of five cutting from Eau Claire down I-90, 94 through our area. Pretty much Madison points north have the highest risk today. A lower end threat the farther southwest you work yourself. Let's track this out in greater detail. Just an isolated shower or a brief rumble of thunder early this afternoon. But the big event gets going as we head towards dinner time here, 7 o'clock. Showing those storms approaching central Wisconsin. It could be one solid line or it could come in multiple waves. Still uncertain at this point exactly how this is going to look on radar. But this is at least a guide of what it possibly could play out. More storms arriving towards Madison by around 9 or 10 this evening. And then we could get another wave that pushes that star region as we enter towards midnight and thereafter. But by daybreak tomorrow, all this active weather should be out of here. So I think the window of opportunity for severe weather will be from 6 this evening through 2 early tomorrow morning. So make sure you have a way to get those weather alerts on your phone, even if you're asleep. Highest threat is going to be gusty winds. Could see some areas get 70 mile per hour gusts or higher. Tornado threat is medium today, so we want to make sure we are staying weather aware again because a couple of them could spin up on that line. A lower end threat for hail and flooding. Looking at the big picture, you can already see that next part of the system moving through far southeastern Minnesota. That's bringing us a couple shower or storm chances this afternoon, but the big weather player still over northern Minnesota just developing right now swooping southward. This is all associated north of a heat dome that's shaping up, bringing widespread hot conditions through the central plains and upper Midwest. The ring of fire pattern, very classic for summertime, uh, is comprised of these fast moving winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere called the jet stream, and those steer our storms as they develop along the outer edge of this heat dome. That's why we look to the northwest for our incoming active weather, because that's how the storms are developing, and they'll move our way from Minnesota. So how much rain on the way? Probably about a half inch to an inch wide spread. But again, I'm just not certain how westward this line of storms will build this evening. So we could see a hole of rain in southwestern Wisconsin or it could fill in. Hopefully you get something though. But if you do get the something, the rain to come with it, it could be strong or severe. So we still are again monitoring this closely. Otherwise, a heat advisory ongoing until nine this evening for the west side of the state, Richland, Vernon, Crawford and Grant counties for heat index values over 100 possible. So limit your time outside and stay hydrated. It already feels like 80 in Madison, heat index of 88 in Janesville. But I'll take you into the early to mid afternoon and you could see that by late day we're tracking heat index values in the upper 90s for most spots. Some of us closing in on that century mark and the highest confidence for that is on the west side of the state to get that century marker higher for that feels like temp. OK, at ground level, this translates to a cold front ahead of those storms that will also drop our temps significantly tomorrow. So we'll only be in the mid 80s, slightly lower humidity too, and then much more comfortable by Friday in the low 80s. As we get that front through, we'll drop humidity values too. It is downright soupy today, feeling very uncomfortable. The hottest and most humid day we've seen in this heat wave so far, likely. Still a bit humid tomorrow, and then much drier air moves in heading into the weekend. Your seven day forecast severe threat this evening and tonight. Again, make sure you have your eyes to the skies. We'll be watching this closely, and then you see the storms clearing out early tomorrow with highs in the mid 80s tomorrow afternoon. Low 80s on Friday with lower humidity, too. A nice lidded chance for a storm or two on Saturday. Low 80s again. If you want to stay completely rain free for any outdoor plans you're making this weekend, choose Sunday. It'll be dry, upper 70s, and we stay in the upper 70s and low 80s heading into August. So, Caroline, yeah. yes, a lot of active weather to get mm -hmm. through, but the severe storms are on the leading edge of much cooler weather, okay. too. So, it is a trade off, but sure. of course, anytime you get these big heat waves, you know, in between that and the milder weather, there are usually the storms. You gotta have the rain, yeah. And that's going to be panning out later today. John Ziegler and Catherine Noel will be in house and if things mm -hmm. get intense enough, Bob Lemire will also be coming on in for yeah. extended team coverage. Yeah, we might have a long night. Yep. So thanks for tracking that, Max. You're welcome.